A week ago, Netflix released Wish You Were The One, another Bella Padilla and JC Santos tandem. And you know when these two collab, they always end up hurting us. And this made me wonder, which of their movies hurt the most? So of course, that meant another binge watch. Hi, I'm Zinni, and this is ranking every Hurtfelt tandem movie from ouch to absolutely tragic. Before I officially rank every Hurtfelt tandem movie, let's first take a look at each film. The first time Bella Padilla and JC Santos collaborated on the sweet or heartbreaking movie is Isang Daang Tula Para Kay Stella, or A Hundred Poems for Stella, directed by Jason Laksamana. In Isang Daang Tula Para Kay Stella, Bella Padilla plays confident, rebellious Stella, while JC Santos plays shy, tongue-tied Fidel. Both are college students. They met at a college party, freshman year, when Fidel was hiding a stain on his pants. Throughout his four years in college, Fidel, a stuttering student, tries to finish a hundred poems dedicated to Stella, an aspiring but frustrated rock star to win her heart. The next heartbreaking film the two collaborated on is The Day After Valentine's, directed again by Jason Laksamana. In The Day After Valentine's, Bella now plays Miss I Can Fix Him Lanny Murphy, who works at a store but also sidelines doing other people's homework. JC plays broken-hearted and self-destructive Kai Ramos, who is still getting over his ex. They met at a store where Lanny works. Lanny Murphy tries her best to fix broken-hearted and self-destructive Kai Ramos. They spent Valentine's Day together, and when Kai needed to go home to Hawaii, Lanny decided to come with him. By Bayin, a Filipino script is a prominent theme in the film. The third one is on Vodka, Beers, and Regrets, directed by Irene Villamor. In Vodka, Beers, and Regrets, Bella plays Jane Pineda, a washed-up actress and former child star who is struggling with alcoholism. JC then plays Francis, a musician who's always had a crush on Jane. They already knew each other in high school, however, they met again in a bar. In their previous collaboration, The Day After Valentine's, Bella's character was the one who was helping JC's character. But here, it's the opposite. Jane Pineda is a washed-up actress who recently had a scandal with another actor, and this ruined her reputation. She copes by drinking a lot of alcohol. When Francis meets Jane again, he helps her through the night and other nights after that. I observed that J.C. Santos got abs in this movie. Not really relevant to the story, but I just wanted to point it out. I'm aware that Bella Padilla and J.C. Santos have other collaborations, like 366 and Miracle in Cell No. 7. But I wanted to focus on the movies where they're the main couple. So the last on the list is their latest collaboration, Wish You Were The One, directed by Roderick Cabrido. Bella plays Astrid, I thought it was Astrid, a woman who hopes to catch her ex at the wedding where he's the chef. JC plays Elise, a man who's looking for someone to pretend to be his girlfriend to win his ex back. They met at the wedding. Astrid desperately tries to crash a wedding in hopes of catching her chef ex. Finds luck when a man going to the same wedding is looking for someone to pretend to be his girlfriend. But when the two pretend to be engaged, even using memories from their past relationships as their history, they find that maybe they're the ones who are truly meant to be. Now that I've quickly enumerated each collaboration they did, it's time to rank them. So here are my quick rankings before I make major spoilers. Okay, at this point of the video, I will be explaining how much each movie hurts. So of course, I'm going to spoil the ending. So if you don't want spoilers, stop this video right now. Go watch them yourself and, you know, hurt yourself or whatever. Okay, back to the video. Wish You Were The One is the least heartbreaking among them. Because unlike their previous movies, Wish You Were The One is more lighthearted. I would rank the movie a 1 out of 5. Aww. 
we see the two main characters already crying at the first scene of the movie. So right from the start, I was already crying as well. I cry easily in movies, okay? But the movie wasn't that heartbreaking because all throughout the film, it was cheesy, funny, and sometimes a bit corny. Although the ending caught me off guard, and if they didn't add the end credits, I would have ranked this movie higher on the hurt scale. But in the end, it was implied that Astrid and Elise still ended up together. I learned that maybe the person you're meant to be with is right there in front of you. On Vodka, Beers, and Regrets, I would rank the movie a 3 out of 5. Yikes! Because even though it was absolutely distressful to see Jane struggling with alcoholism and having an abusive boyfriend, Jane went to rehab to get better, and in the end, Francis was also there for her. The lesson I learned is that even though you can't control what happens to you, you can control how you react and where you go from there. For isang daan tula para kay Stella, the hurt level is 3.5 out of 5. <laughs> It took way too long for Fidel to confess his true feelings for Stella. The part where Fidel finally confessed his true feelings for Stella was really heartbreaking. What a waste! I would have honestly ranked it higher, but in the end, they still love each other even though they didn't end up together. The lesson here is that if you love someone, tell them before it's too late. And last, the day after Valentine's. 4 out of 5. What? Are you serious? I'm actually more angry than hurt because after Lani fixed him and was there for him, when Lani was the one who needed help, Kai didn't want to be there for her. It's like Kai wants Lani to be there for him, but he can't be there for her. So that's why the day after Valentine's is the last on my list and the most heartbreaking. But honestly, isang daang tula para kay Stella really hurt. It's just that at least Stella and Fidel love each other to the point that they sacrifice their happiness. In the day after Valentine's, Kai was pretty selfish. Anyway, um, I learned that it's not our job to fix someone. So, there you have it. Ranking every Bella Padilla and JC Santos tandem from ouch to absolutely tragic. I hope we get to see more movie collaborations from them. And hopefully, more happy endings. Hello guys! So I didn't want to explain every detail in each film because I wanted you to watch them. And even though these films are Filipino movies, I'm Filipino Chinese after all, they're all on Netflix and they have English subtitles. So I suggest you check them all out and, you know, get hurt as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, bye bye!